Hi, everyone. This is Bill Noble, your host for Hidden Gems. What is Web3? Have you ever wondered? Well, we'll tell you today. Web3 is best explained in the context of its predecessors, Web1 and Web2. Web1 is the basic web of the early days of the internet, you know, your dad's internet. This web represented the information economy, the platform economy, which is dominated by corporations such as Facebook and Google. Web 2.0 gave users the ability to read and write on pages, allowing them to share information with other internet users like family and high school friends. The problem with this is that users don't have true ownership of what they share on these platforms. And the internet is now dominated by a handful of massive corporations that own your data. These issues are solved with Web 3.0. Web 3 represents the token economy created by decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs, which give users the ability to read, write, and own their own internet assets and information, as well as become part of the DAO themselves. In other words, you own your data and you have a voice, right? Web3 seeks to use blockchain to detach from this server-based models of the internet giants, right? That's how they own and capture your data and decentralize data architecture across the board. Web3 projects are popping up all over the crypto space and token metrics. We want you to be the ones that find the next trend. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if the content works for you. The potential uses of Web3 are beyond what is conceivable. Most people have only recently become aware of the amount of influence that the internet monopolies have over them. Documentaries like The Social Dilemma and The Great Hack have only recently exposed people to the invasions of privacy exhibited by these corporations. It's terrible. Many saw those documentaries and were upset about the amount of power and information these tech giants have, but weren't able to stop using the services because of how integral they become in everyday life. Many in the investment community were furious when Robinhood halted trading on GameStop after a big move, but they were unable to stop using the app because it was too hard to switch from investing platforms. With Web 3.0, users will be able to gain back control over their private data and trade wherever they wish, whenever they wish. Ocean Protocol allows users to privately store their data and sell it to whomever they please, not just who pays for a targeted Facebook ad. Uniswap has already given users the power to become their own market makers and provide liquidity to traders and investors around the world, eliminating the need for Wall Street. These are things that were once thought to be impossible for the average person to achieve. But now with Web3, the impossible seems possible. In essence, Web3 seeks to strip the power from the centralized firms controlling the internet by building an internet based on ideals not corporations. Web 3.0 is the internet that Tim Berners-Lee dreamt of when he had the dream back in the 90s, a trustless, open internet. Web 3 seeks to decentralize the application layer of the internet. That means all the apps you know and love, right, aren't controlled by corporations. They're controlled and governed by the end user. That's you. Web3 gives users full ownership over digital assets and collectibles. Gamers out there, most people are not aware that they don't own the Fortnite skins or battle axes. They simply pay Epic Games for the right to use them. With Web 3.0 and blockchain, gamers can own the clothes on their virtual counterpart no differently than they own the shirt on their own back. Once people achieve digital ownership, they will never relinquish it. Once you can prove your identity without actually showing who you are, you'll never go back. This is just the tip of the iceberg for Web 3.0. Soon the centralized internet's giants that ran Web 2.0 will be a distant memory. Dinosaurs replaced by the decentralized titan of the new web. So that's it for Web 3.0. Right on.
This is Bill Noble from Token Metrics. We'll see you next time.